if you're if you're the smartest person that you know <laughs> shame on you if you're the most richest person that you know <laughs> shame on you Yo, what's good? It's poppin'. You know what today is. It's Friday. And I know y'all been getting fed some of them Eliantes, some of them VVs. You know what I'm saying? Some of that thing that's gonna feed your soul. Soul food. You feel me? It's Funky Friday. I've really been looking forward to this powered up. You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking all week, I'm like, bro, I've been killing them with the Funky Friday. I know the streets been fiending for it. Like, what I'm going to kick it with this week? So I'm going to get right on into it, bro. I had this while I was coming up with the topic. When I was coming up with the topic, there was something that I realized. I was like, bro, you know what? When choosing your friends... There's three things that you need out of a friend. Or there's three friends that you need. I'll say it again. There's three friends that, in my honest opinion, that you need to stay balanced in life. And what I want you to do, if you see, if you feel like you need four, if you feel like you only need two, if you feel like you only need one, cool, tap in. Leave a comment. You know what I'm saying? I'll read it and I'll mention it. You know what I'm saying? When the time, when the time suits itself. So there's three friends. And here they go. All right. Number one, you need a circle of friends. And in that circle of friends, one of those friends has to be your ratchet friend. Yes. I said it. You need a ratchet friend. Why do you need a ratchet friend? It's because of this. This person is your hype man. Okay, okay, I see you killing them. I see you doing that. You did that, bro. You did that, baby. You did that. Hey, like that just, okay, yeah, I do look good. Yeah, I, 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 I can't pop my, you know what I'm saying, shit a little bit. You know what I mean? Maybe I do, you know what I'm saying, you know, I get, I, I, I strut a little different when I get around them. I'm comfortable. They keep life innocent. You know what I'm saying? And we all need that. Life is about enjoying each and every opportunity. You know, one of the, the pieces that I have on my arm is carpe diem, and it sees every moment. And you can't seize every moment if, if you're not in that mental capacity or you're not at a mental capacity to be ready to receive things. So if you're feeling good, then good things, I believe, will happen to you. So as I described the Ratchet Friend, right? You need that ratchet friend. This is a friend that is with the shits. The friend that brings out the fun in you, the hype man. They keep life lighthearted. You need that. That person is essential. But you need another person. Which brings me to number two friend. So you have a ratchet friend. That's the person you have fun with, you may go out with, you may have drinks with, you may do this and may do that. It's just all in the name of fun. You need a professional friend. Now, with this professional friend, how do I describe this person? This person can be a person that you work with. This can be a business partner. This can be a person who, you know, you bounce ideas off of and it's just like, man, what you think about this? They bring out this this organic, you know, fuse that gets you going, gets gets you, gets your artistic, you know, juices flowing, you know what I'm saying, in your world, right? This, and I described it as this. This is the friend that you make money with. This is maybe the person you work with, and this also is the person that brings out the intellectual side of you all in the name of business. They challenge you to be great and expands your mentality to get you to want to get the bag. Simple. I came up with these definitions all by my lonesome. 
with the help of some unnamed sources, but they know I appreciate them. So, yes, you need a professional friend. You need a person who life is not all about play, 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 play. You need to say, you know what, bro? Like, man, bro, Memorial Day was unbelievable. All right, bro, like, let me tap into, boom. You know, let me get back refocused and let me do this and let me do that. Like, I got to get back to this bag, you know. And as I would finish this piece up with, with, with saying is it's all about balance. It's all about balance. You know, I'm not a, I'm not a person. You, you won't meet another person that wants to have more fun than me. I promise you. But there's also structure that needs to be in place. There's also discipline that needs to be in place. There's also things that you know, you know, for yourself that you have to take that you have to take care of if you're a parent if your kids ain't taken care of bro that's that shit childish to me if 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 you know you have something that needs to be done and you bypass that to be you know do something that you know you're supposed to be doing that is childish to me like and as an adult you're supposed to act your age not like your shoe size we used to hear that all the time in, in grade school but moving right along yeah, your third friend. We already got two friends in the can. That's your ratchet friend. That's the person with the shits. And you need a professional friend, the friend that brings out the best in you to make you want to chase that bag, right? And when I say bag in the Urban or the Boogie's Dictionary, my version of chasing the bag is a person that gets you to the money, right? The third and final person that I believe you should have in your life as a friend is an accountability friend. Yes, you need an accountability friend. It's very important. It's very essential to your life, your understanding of who you are and what you need to be. And my, my definition of this is simple and plain. An accountability friend, this is the person that wants the best for you, even if it's not what you want to hear, but it's what you need to hear. This person always holds you to the standard that you know is going to keep you on your game when you veer off track. This may be your mentor, a person you really trust and look to for guidance. Age is not a factor for when it comes to a person being an accountability friend or person. They just have to understand the totality to who you are and what you need to do and be. It is very important, very important that you have this person in your life because without any accountability, then it's easy for your mind, it's easy for your world to kind of veer off. Man, listen, I'll tell you personally, and I will say it again, I don't have all the answers, but what I do know, what I do know, I believe in. I have multiple people in my life that can tell me no can tell me, bro, Karen, bro, you tripping, dog. Like, what the fuck are you doing? And I'm sorry for the explicit. But yet, it, it, I, I need people to hear me. If you're, if you're the smartest person that you know, <laughs> shame on you. If you're the most richest person that you know, <laughs> shame on you. And I'll go as far as to say this. If you're the wisest person that you know. Mm. Shame on you. Just think about it. This, this, is, this is me being as honest as I know how. And it's needed. Like for the people that I talk to, the people that I look up to, the people who I confide in, the people who I know, you know, has my best interest, they are placed in certain buckets in my life. Now, I will say this. There is a rarity, and I, and, and I don't think this comes with, with, with the seriousness that, you know, I, I may say this with, but there, I don't think it's possible for a person to be all three of those in one. They may have different sides, but for them to have the importance of every single day, man, I need you to be my ratchet friend. Okay, I need you to, that same person, you're going to them for, for business advice. Okay, that same person I, that, that wants you, you know what I'm saying, that's gonna hold you accountable. Like that's asking too much from that person. Now, not saying that you can't get advice in many different slots from, 
your ratchet friend, they may hold you accountable, or your business friend can be ratchet. Or your professional friend can be ratchet. You know what I'm saying. You know, and I'm not saying that it's impossible, but it's very rare that you find a person that can switch off different things and that they need to be what you need them to be for you at that given point of time. Right. And there's a crazy quote that I, and when I was looking up, I was like, man, you know, this is so true. Like when you, when you, when you think you really know a person, when you think you really dating a person, when you think you really like into a person from a, you know, friendship basis, a relationship basis, a marriage basis, a, you know, business basis, a whatever, it, whatever you think your friendship or your relationship is, you don't know this person until three things happen. All right. You don't really know a person until you travel with them. And when you travel with them, that's going to tell you a lot of things about them. If a person's selfish, you know what I'm saying? Do they clean up about behind themselves? You know what I'm saying? Uh, how are they? Pardon me, as I ask. You know, you find out a lot about a person when y'all travel together. But it's some good things that you can find out about a person when you travel with them, too. So that's one. You find out a lot of person, a lot about a person when they when you travel with them. Number two, you find out a lot about a person when money is involved. Boy, money is the root of all evil, and that is a snap of fact. I swear, because you start seeing how petty a person is. You know, when money is involved, if somebody owes you money, if you owe them money, man, it's been friendships crushed, ruined, families crushed ruin people who was as loyal as loyal can be ruined off of the love of green paper or in some cases blue paper right and lastly you know you really don't know a person unless you see how they act when they're angry lord jesus can't do it won't do it mm -mm. you really don't know that person so if you're dating a person, if you if you call that person your partner, if you call that person your friend, best friend, oh, that's my bestie, that's my best friend, that's my best friend, flex. <laughs> like, yeah, you don't know that person until you travel with them, until you have money involved with them, until you've seen them angry. And heaven forbid if they're angry at you. Ooh. You see how you see how people really get when, you know, they when their emotions is on their sleeve. You know, but yet, needless to say, you know, sometimes it does take friends to go through certain things good and bad for them to bring them closer together there's been times when i've been affiliated with a person and money was involved i thought it, i was slighted you know but yet there's nothing in life that can't be cured over time and it just came to the point like bro you know what man that's petty bro hey dog i miss you hey baby i miss you hey you know man this that person man i miss you you know what I'm saying? For 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 whatever it is, you know what I'm saying? And you can bypass that with by just getting over it with time. So, you know, I think I I, I reached my limit today. And I will reiterate what I said. Choosing your friends wisely. And as you're choosing your friends, I do think you need three essential friends in your life. That one friend is a ratchet friend that second friend is a professional friend and that third friend is an accountability friend and making sure you're checking all the boxes like do i really know this person have i traveled with this person have i had any dealings with this person with any, in regards to money and have i seen a dark side to this person when they mad hmm. only you can answer that and if you don't have those friends in your life i hope you find them i really do so, as you know, too, I'm fresh as it come now. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm wearing a Houston Astros Nolan Ryan jersey throwback. But shout out to my my socks that's out there. I know, I know, I know. I'm sorry. It, you know, wearing this outfit was all in the love of the sauce. The swag. The outfit. You know what I'm saying? You did. Mm. Appreciate you on this beautiful Friday and as we say in funky Fridays we gotta keep it funky we gotta keep it a bean one finger one pinky one thumb one love